Sewing Machine Warehouse in Penrith and today I'm going to show you how to take up a pair of men's trousers, uh, the chino type, you know, with a, um, a sewn hem, okay? Now, what you need to do is wash the trousers first, so if there's any more shrinkage, it will happen in the wash. Put them on your husband, pin mark them, okay, so basically where he needs to have the finished length, and then fold your trousers in half, and um, so your leg seams match, and place it on your cutting board. Now if you don't have a rotary cutter and ruler and mat, you can cut them with your scissors, but this is so much easier. Now, always uh, establish how big you want your hem. Usually about three centimeters is what I allow. Okay, so that's three centimeters. And the other reason I made it three centimeters is because a packet of sewing machine needles is three centimeters wide. And I use that as a measurement guide. <laughs> that's a bit of a cheating method, but anyway. Um, all right, so once you've established where your pin marking is, you need to add four centimeters. So my pin marking was here. Okay, and if I put a pin in there, you'll see that. Okay, so that was where my pin marking was. And um, I'm allowing four centimeters, and I'm gonna cut the excess off. So basically, line that up, cut that, and slightly tilt your ruler for the back. Okay, cut up any excess dags there. All right, now, I'm not going to overlock them, but I am, sorry, I, I, I already reduced the bulk here. So basically cut that back like so. And that way when you've turned your hem up, it's not bulky. It's not an even amount of bulk and it will distribute better. Okay, so basically press up about one centimeter and then take your packet of needles and place your first pin through there like that and do that all the way around. It just makes it so much easier to have some type of marker other than a tape measure because it's a bit fiddly otherwise okay so i'm going to mark that all the way around and then take it to the sewing machine and i'll show you exactly what to do from then on now we add our machine um, i've changed my needle to a size 90 uh, jeans needle Okay, this is the sharpest needle that they make and it makes for a better stitch. I've also um, wound my thread with good, oh, sorry, wound my bobbin with good quality thread and this is the perfect match for this colour. And the other thing I'm going to introduce is the left edge top stitching foot. Okay, it's a new foot from Fat. It's actually called bi-level top stitch foot and what it does have it has a uh, section carved out of the bottom of the foot and it has the perfect edge to line up the edge of the hem so it keeps me straight because I do a lot of top stitching and I'll just replace the normal foot with that one and if you've got dual feed, use it. Okay, so you get nice even stitching all the way. So I've set my stitch length on three and a half, which is slightly longer. I've turned my trousers inside out. Okay, and also start on the inside leg seam of your trousers. Another thing we need to do is take 
take your accessory tray off, leaving the free arm. Now insert your trouser leg. Okay, and starting from just in front of that seam, Your presser foot down so there's a red marking on this foot and just allows me to line that up with the fold of the fabric now I can move my needle to where I need it to be slightly more okay perfect now off we go remember not to pull your fabric the machine will take it through nicely and remove your pins as you get to them and just follow that red marking and you'll get nice even stitching can you see that rotate that cuff now this seam uh, side seam shouldn't be too hard to get over seeing this is a nice powerful machine Okay, when you come to the point where you started, just get those threads out of the way. Okay, and reverse once and stop. Okay, take your hem out. Now at this point you can pull those threads through if you want to just grab a pin there, hang on probably can't pull that one through since I stitched over it and if you like you can tie that into a knot And trim all those threads off. Oops. Try not to pull that. Okay. And cut that one from the front. And that's all done. That was nice and quick and easy. So there's no reason for your husband to have his pants dragging on the floor. Give that a press and it's ready to go.